Hi guys, Keith Parker Farm. It is uh, last week of January, beginning of February, and it is uh, cold out here. So I still have a good amount of lettuce growing in this greenhouse behind me. Just want to kind of walk you through the next couple days and kind of show you what I do depending on the day and the weather of how I keep it growing, vented, and everything running side of the high tunnel here. So let me show you. So, as you can see behind me, we're pretty much covered in clouds right now. We don't have any sunshine, we're not getting any shadows through. I've got the high tunnel actually, all the corners where the roll up sides are. We've got the roll up side curtain down here. You can look that up if you want. It's, uh, I believe it's just called rolled up side curtain. Got a video on that. But I have all of these sides actually wiggle wired off, and the side curtain is completely disabled. I have it unhooked for now. That way I can control basically how much heat I'm putting into these houses throughout the day. So on a day like this, where it's really cloudy and cold, I mean, we've been in, we're barely getting above freezing during the day. Some days we do, some days we don't. Like last night, we actually had a low of nine degrees. So what I'm doing is I've got the whole main bed of lettuce here covered with one big piece of row cover and I'm not taking it off on days like this. I do get, you can kind of see behind me, a little bit of moisture built up, but not too much, and that's what I'd call an acceptable level. And that is acceptable because if we come over here, and usually off of this purlin, that one right there, over the top of me, that's where it rains. So we'll see a lot of drips coming down in this walk path. And when that happens, I know that I have too much moisture in this tunnel and I have to actually manual vent with the gable vent behind me and then open up the door. But when it's really cold and it's really windy, I also have to watch how I open the door because if it's blowing out of the north, which blows actually this way and the door opens, well, yeah, that way, then the wind will actually blow in and it really kind of hits the lettuce right through here but like i was telling you you know on a day like today i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna let it sit i'm gonna build up as much heat as possible from as much sun that's going to come through the clouds as possible to get as much heat in the soil so it'll survive through the night so we'll come back tomorrow and see what it looks like and just kind of figure out what we're going to do then okay so today as you can see from around me, I've got shadows. It is starting to get maybe a little bit of sun coming through. I haven't had all that much. It's been cloudy all day up until this point. It might be 40 degrees out. So basically my goal right now, I'll take you inside real quick. I mean, it is really nice and warm in here. It's maybe 40 out there and inside of here. It's probably 60, 65. I really need to get a, a thermometer out here. This would be a little easier to guess. But what I'm looking at is getting a little bit of condensation on top up here, but I'm not getting any drips down here on the ground. So it's not condensating hard enough to rain. Um, because it's been so cold all day and it'll start cooling off here in about two hours or so. It's already midday already. I'm not even gonna bother to take this off right now. Again, I'm just trying to build up thermal mass in this greenhouse. I mean, this greenhouse is large enough that it really takes a lot to overheat it and you really don't overheat this time of year. So we've got plenty of thermal mass air in here. So, I mean, you can feel around the temperatures pretty much even throughout. So uh, my goal for today is to do nothing. It's gonna get down to say 20s tonight it was pretty cold last night i think we were down in the tens single you know, single digits to low tens so right now we're just going to leave it 
uh, come back tomorrow and we'll see what it's like. And I'll kind of fill you in what we're doing. So today is one of the days I really wanted to show you because blue sky wall to wall way around me, but it's still below freezing out here. Now you really can't, really can't see it, but I can still see my breath a little bit. So see the greenhouse, it's got quite a bit of condensation on it. So we're gonna go inside where when it is this warm out, I can tell you right now, it's going to be extremely nice in here. So just coming in now, we are, I don't know, probably close to 60 or 70 degrees. I mean, I can kind of use my controller here. Listen to it click. So it's clicking right in between 60 and 70. So it's about 65 degrees in here. But since it is below freezing outside, I really, really don't want the cold air rushing through that door and going over the lettuce because it will damage it. I've had that happen before. And we've got a decent amount of condensation on the roof, which I really want to kind of get this condensation out of here. So what I'm going to do is open up my ridge vent up here and let the air out through there, which I'm going to do real quick. Okay, you really can't see. It's opened up. i got a wire that comes down here, and I just pull it to open it. Let me just tie it off on something. You get it automated, but that's for another day. So I'm gonna go down there and shut that door. Heat rises, it'll be up here, so it'll want to push out that ridge vent. So any of the moisture that's collecting up here should hopefully go the same way it is going. Take a look underneath here real quick. I am gonna leave the cover on. Because again, I'm trying to conserve the heat that is in here. So all the leaflets are still looking good. This has actually been through, I think it went down to six one night. There is a decent amount of warmth in here. One other thing to do is come in here every once in a while and check for aphids. You really won't pick up too many aphids when they're undercover if they aren't in here to begin with. Once they get in, they will try to go through and take over. But for now, I mean, it's pretty much what we're doing today. It's just starting to, you hear it dripping, you see the little water spots. So it is starting to rain because of the condensation, opening up, shaking around, so it will move a little bit. But that's basically the plan for today. I've got um, really warm temperatures coming up tomorrow. We're gonna be in the 60s over the next couple days, but the lows are still gonna be freezing, which usually I would have the sidewall active and it would take care of that for me, but, Come Tuesday next week, it's also going to snow again. So that's just in four days. So we're going to have to convert it back anyways. Either way, I'll keep checking in each day and kind of showing you what we're doing. All right. So today and tomorrow, we've got highs in the 60s today, 50s tomorrow. Lows are going to be down 27 to 30 tonight and tomorrow. So I'm actually going to release the wiggle wire on the outside of both of these ends of my automatic side curtain plug that back in, get that thing active, and pull this off. The main reason I want to do that is because you can see all the water behind me. I really want to get the as much moisture out of here as possible because Wednesday, this coming up week, we're supposed to have negative nine as a low. So the more moisture I get out and the more heat I can get into the soil, the better. So I'm gonna set the curtain at about 70 degrees and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So for today and tomorrow, I'm going to have the side curtain active. I'm going to uncover during the day and then cover back up at night. So once that changes in two days, I'll put the wiggle wire back and I'll show you and kind of see what it's like on that day. So 
yesterday, today, and tomorrow are all going to be pretty much the same as they were the last time I recorded. I didn't record anything yesterday. Um, keep the whole entire bed covered. I've got the automatic side curtain running. Got a good amount of the moisture out of here. It's nice and clear on the film on the inside. So at this point, basically, I'm trying to store my heat, but also get the moisture out because it's going to get really cold here in a day or two. So at this point, I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. And then uh, let's see, two days from now, I'll come back and show you how we batten down the hatches and get ready for the cold weather and the snow. Okay, I really thought today was going to be better, but it's already getting cold. Wind's coming out of the north. See above me? Cloud base has already moved in. So, we're going to batten down this greenhouse first and foremost. Unplug the automatic sidewall timer because I'm going to put the channel lock in the corner. And if I don't, it'll take off and it'll rip this curtain and the channel lock out. Don't ask me how I know that. Because this thing down here has some major torque to it. It supposedly can pick up like a 300 foot long greenhouse up like 10 feet or something ridiculous. So, it's like I showed you the other day, strip this out, put this back in, and we'll head into the tunnel. Okay, greenhouse sidewall sealed. So we're ready to go inside now. I've also have that end wall sealed as well. That's just a roll up side. So, coming in here, I've already got the one layer on here. I took the other layer from the other greenhouse, which is actually a full 100 foot. So I've got it doubled up. Now I'm gonna pull that over and that'll triple layer the lettuce. The only reason I'm doing that is because we have temperatures coming in, which are reported negative digits overnight and highs of like single digits. So I'm not gonna get any more heat in this thing for the next couple days. So the more heat I can contain and keep in here, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. So that right there is a prime example of a two person task. One person, that took forever. I was all over the place. Two people, both corners, whoosh, down, done. I'll go into that later. But got everything battened down, got triple coverage here. So that should give me really, really good protection from the temperatures. Now we're just ready for snow. So we'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully get to see some snow. Okay. Here's kind of what I was waiting to show you. We got snow. There's old buddy puppy there. He loves it out in the snow. But it's a good fine powdery snow and if you look around the greenhouse it has sealed all of the creeks creeks all the cracks and the air leakages all the way around it so that gives a really nice seal from the temperatures because over the next 48 hours we're going to have a low in the negatives and the high today is roughly i think 15. so we're looking at single you know right about double single digit highs and lows below freezing and at zero and below zero so as you can see that side sealed off real good now we'll go ahead step on in to the greenhouse so it is way warmer in here right now remember we triple covered this just because I had that much covering. Get the door to shut so we don't want to lose heat. We've been building up the heat all week long in here in the soil and underneath our row cover. So we have a good amount of heat stored in here for the next couple days. We do have a little bit of snow on the roof. I'm really not worried about that. That'll actually fall off here in a little bit. Slide down the side and actually make it seal off even better, which is perfect. This tunnel can withstand a lot of snow load. It's a tank. It's like super sturdy tunnel. I mean, I've never seen one this sturdy. So I'm not worried about it at all, snow-wise. But now, basically, I just leave it covered the next couple days. I don't even know if I'm going to come in here and check on it or not, because I really don't have to, because it's just living right here. I don't want to open it. I don't want to let heat out of the tunnel. I don't want to do anything. 
I want to warm back up, scoop the snow off the side, pull the channel off the side, the wiggle wire, activate the side curtain, and let it go, and we can start harvesting this again. We'll be harvesting this next week, no problem. I know it's doing great or anything. So, I mean, it's just kind of a basic walk you through a couple days of what we deal with during the winter times to get lettuce production, and now, well, it's February, and this is in Kansas. Usually it gets cold for a week, and we lose everything. I have finally figured out how to get this high tunnel to actually hold the heat well enough to get through the spells of it not getting above freezing. That's basically using uh, three or four different techniques I just showed you. So, hope you all liked what you saw today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, you can head over to arkenbergfarms.com. Uh, scroll down to the bottle, bottom. I got digital tools and trainings down there. It's all kind of spreadsheets. There's some freebies in there. Go check that out, too. Um, also, if you're in uh, Belton, Texas here next month, Mother Earth News Fair is uh, the weekend of the 17th, I believe. I'm going to be speaking there uh, Saturday and Sunday. So if you to be on that region, check it out. It's a great fair. It'll be fun. First time they've gotten together since the whole pandemic started. So hope you all like what we saw here. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all. Have a good day.